Right then, welcome to another tutor tutorial on how to do the 90 word writing for your GCSE papers, both foundation and higher tier questions, they overlap. Uh, this one is on theme three. So if you have already seen the other two tutorials, you'll start to pick up a pattern. Um, the first one was on theme one, the second one was on theme two. This one's on theme three, and we'll look at the, um, the topic that it's on and how to go about answering it in exactly the same way as we've done for the other two tutorials. So first thing we need to do, and you should all be really okay with this right now, is to write your tense rules up in the top corner somewhere on your paper. So um, uh, we do these every single day, um, every single lesson, so every single week, um, pretty much. So we've got present tense, let's write PR, and then we've got je, uh, I just sort of tend to a line like that, and uh. Uh, je and uh. and we like it's always good to do an example. Okay, so let's do an example with a with a verb we're used to using. I don't know, maybe je visite. Let's use the verb visite today. Okay, so je visite, I visit. Okay, then we go down to the past tense. We'll just put a P for the past tense. Okay, uh, je and e. Uh, then we've got j and a. So we go j and we'll just do the line and then a. Now we'll do an example. J visite. I visited. Okay, and the last one, tell you what, why not write the English there as well? Look, I visit, not see visit, I visit, j'ai visité, I visited. And then the last one, future tense, is je vais plus a verb complet. Okay, which hopefully in your heads means je vais visite in this case. Okay, so je vais plus verb complet. Let's just make that box a little bit, a little bit bigger. And je vais visiter obviously translates as I am going to visit. Okay, so that will help us massively when we come to do the writing and put our verbs in the correct tenses. One of the big parts of the mark scheme is accurate use of three tenses. If you can't do that, you won't be able to access full marks, which is where we are all aiming. So once I've done that, okay, I'm going to go across to here and do exactly the same in my opinions in three tenses. I'm going to go PR and I'm going to put say. It is, it is, P for past, sete, if you can spell it right it would help, sete it was, and then the last one, F for future, and it will be, sir, sir, ra, it will, wait, it will be, it will be, there we are. Okay, and then we can just follow those by any sort of adjective we want, really, um, uh, to help us give our opinions in those tenses as well, which is great. Okay. That is the first thing I would do on every single piece of writing that you do, 90 word, um, or if you're doing higher tier, 150 word. 40 word is slightly different. You can watch some tutorials on that um, that are on this YouTube channel as well, okay, um, to help you with the 40 words because they're slightly different. Once you've done that, go to the task. Now, like I've already told you, you'll have, had, you'll have the choice of three different tasks if you're doing this exam in 2021. If you're not doing it in 2021, then you'll probably just be given the choice of two different tasks. So read all the tasks carefully, particularly the topic it is about, which is the bit at the top. Don't just look at the bullet points, read the bit at the top to start off with. So you've got, vous décrivez votre éducation pour votre blog. Well, I've definitely recognised éducation, education. So this is on the topic of education, therefore school. Okay. The rest of it's kind of irrelevant because it's just telling you what you're, do, what you're doing. You're describing your education for your blog. It's always your blog. I have no idea why, but apparently we all write blogs. So um, that's the, the task. And we've decided, actually, you know what, I'm pretty good at education. I, I did that topic quite recently. Um, now I'm going to pick that task. So we'll pick this one and we're going to look at these bullet points to work out what they mean. So over here, you need to make a brief summary. It doesn't need to be exact translation at all. In fact, it's better if it's not. It should really just be focused on those keywords to work out what it is you need to write about. So here, one I've reckoned, les matières, subjects, and I've recognized this verb here, étudier, study. So it's something to do with subjects I study. So subjects, and literature can write subjects I study at school. That's all I need. So second bullet point, where I've got aspect positive, negative. So positive aspects, negative aspects of your school. Now be really careful with these. You have to have a positive and a negative, otherwise they won't say you've answered the bullet point. Okay, but we'll talk a little bit more about how we answer that one in a bit. So we'll go with um, positive, see how to put that, and negative about school. There we are. Third bullet point now, okay. 
but you really careful. It's got visit, you got scolaire, so school visit, okay, and then recent, recent, so recent school visit, okay. So basically, recent school trip or visit. Don't be afraid to make something up. Bear in mind, lots of you haven't been on a school trip or visit since the arrival of COVID. So um, that's something just to bear in mind. Right, and the last one, vos projets d'avenir. Now, this is a typical one that people get really stuck on because they uh, translate projet as projects and start talking about a project they're doing. It's nothing to do with projects, it's to do with your plans. And we know avenir means future, so basically future plans, but make sure it's linked to education. There's no point saying I'm going to marry Liz Hurley. Okay, um, it needs to be linked to your education because that's the topic that we're writing about. Okay, so you can't say I'm going to live in France and live in a big house. Okay, again, it needs to be linked to education. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Once you've worked out what the bullet points are about, it's important to note the tense each one's in. So if you're talking about the subjects that you study at school, we're obviously in the present tense because that's what you're studying at the moment. Positives and negatives about school, essentially that's opinions, but again, present tense. Then if we'd worked that out, we'd basically be able to re realise that bullet point three and four are going to be past and future. They always have the three tenses in the bullet point. So bullet point three, and visite scolaire récente, anything that's been recently is in the past. And then the last one here, uh, vos projets d'avenir with future plans, very obvious, okay, future. If you didn't know avenir and you'd managed to work out the others, you could obviously guess that that meant future because you had present tense, present tense, past tense. The other bullet points got to be in the future. So you can work those things out, okay? Use your logic. If you don't know words, don't just panic. Okay? Once we've done that, I think it's really important to then look up here and look at the key verbs. Now, the key verbs will change a little bit depending on the task, which is why it's probably the last thing that I would do, okay? Because if there's a task about holidays, your key verbs might be slightly different for your key verbs about school, okay? So let's have a little bit of think about our key verbs here, where we're probably going to need to use MA, adore, deteste, because we've got positives and negatives. They're probably quite key anyway. For all your, um, or hold up, I'm using army under deteste for all your writings. Then it's a bit more specific to school. So we've got to think about okay, visite is actually going to be useful because we're on a school trip. So we're visiting places. Okay, alle, obviously, but I'm not going to put that here because it's a slightly different one we need to remember about. Um, other key verbs, etudier, obviously, because we're talking about subjects we study. Um, now, if we talk about positive and negative aspects of school, we could go down the route of manger, and we could go down the route of jouer, because we might be talking about things you can play at school in terms of sports, or you might be able to talk about um, food in the canteen, okay, and things you eat. So those are some good key verbs as well. Possibly, you might look at commencer, you might look at durer, the verb to start, the verb to last. If you talk about the positive aspects of the school day, you could say lunch is too short, it only lasts, and how long it lasts. So you can start to play around perhaps with those verbs as well. Um, I think now we're looking at that last bullet point, future plans, you might want to put about continue, to continue your studies. Um, the verb aller, I think we'll just put, and it's always going to be one of your key verbs, aller. Um, we'll put aller at the bottom with a star by it, because we know aller is a, well, our key verb, is slightly different. And what have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, ten, eleven key verbs there, which is plenty to work with. Once I've done all that, it's probably taken about ten minutes, then it's time to write the writing. The writing will be so straightforward once I've got that plan. OK, so let's go on to this slide and let's have a little look at doing the writing. So what do I always need to think about? I need to think about answering the four bullet points. It's up here in the red uh, in the corner there, um, uh, based on what the mark scheme says. I have to answer all four bullet points. I have to give two opinions minimum. I have to have three accurate tenses. and I need to be accurate, simple and clear. Right. In order to do that, I always think about this. Can I start with each sentence, each bullet point with when, like normally or yesterday or recently or in the future. If you can't start with when in this case, because it's slightly different here, could you start with almost like where? So for example, at school. If it was a holidays one, could you start with on holiday? Okay, so we're trying to start with something like that. What I'm trying to avoid students doing is using the bullet point too much to answer the question. So saying something like, the subjects that I study are is really, really tricky. 
rather than saying at school I study is much easier. Okay, so first bullet point is not so easy to start with a when, but we can start with where. So at school or college, just check the accent's working. Don't forget the accent with college, it will obviously auto correct on here. My apologies if you can hear some scratching in the background, it's my dog who sat in here with me. Um, or college. At school, I study, je and us. So I'm going to write je étudie, oh, based on one of the key verbs. And then I just have a little look. Don't be afraid just to check things. Go, okay, yeah, I've got to just do something. Uh, there we are. Au collège, j'étudie. And let's mention a subject that I study. I don't know. Let's mention French. J'étudie le français. I would avoid giving a long list of subjects just to fill some words. Okay. And actually, in some ways, I think it makes it harder. Um, uh, you could just give a couple. So, au collège, j'étudie le français et les maths. I study French and maths, full stop. Now, I could leave it at that. Okay. But what I've got up here that will help me use I plus verb in the correct tense. I've done that. So, I've said when or where at, at school. Then I've got the I plus verb in the correct tense. I study French and maths. Then give an opinion about this. Well, that's really easy to do. We could say, uh, j'aime le Francais, really easy to give opinions on this. J'aime le Francais. Now, if you give an opinion, can you give a couple of reasons? Car, say, what is it? Car, say, utile, useful. I'm just going to adjust my microphone because it's getting in the way of what I'm typing. Okay, say, utile. Um, J'aime le Francais, car, say, utile. Can I give a second reason? Of course, I could. A, le prof, a, tray. Cool, definitely. Okay, so au collège, j'étudie le français et les maths. J'aime le français car c'est utile et le prof est très cool. Then, can I maybe talk about the second subject I've mentioned? Maybe say something negative. May, nice chance to use a connective. Je déteste les maths car c'est, I don't know, ennuyeux et difficile. Lovely. Could I put a quantifier with those adjectives? Car say, ennuyeux a vraiment difficile, really difficult. Always nice to put a bit of variety in there. What I've done really well now is I've managed to use this bullet point as an opportunity to give two opinions. I've got an I like and an I hate, and that's ticked straight away the box was giving two opinions. Now, the bullet point doesn't ask for your opinions. It literally asks me for subjects I study. I have to take that initiative to put those opinions in there. And I've probably written... 30 odd words are giving opinions we're already good at it we've done it since year seven let's put them in next it's easy to do okay so that's lovely that'll do for bullet point one cracking let's move on i would always leave a line make it clear that it's second bullet point so make it a clear paragraph and then move on to the next one positive and negative aspects of your school again you sometimes get these bullet points i would definitely avoid trying to say the positive aspects and negative aspects of my school are it makes it really tricky essentially all this bullet point is asking you for is a positive opinion about your school negative opinion about your school so could we just start with at school i like that's, that's a positive thing however i don't like and that's really easy to do so again think about can i start with when or where yes i can at school or college okay remember that accent because if you don't have the accent always ought to correct something it's very annoying and uh, if you don't have the accent, it's an English word, and then we'll give you a mark. So, or collège, let's give something positive about it, okay? Let's not use aspect positive, that's too, let's not avoid using that, just give a simple opinion. Or collège, j'adore, what do I love? Uh, or collège, j'adore la cantine. Okay, so at school, I love the canteen. Quite straightforward. Um, why do I love the canteen? Because car... Now, let's try and avoid saying because it is car il y a beaucoup de nourriture. Why not? There's a lot of food. Nourriture. I'm spell nourriture now. Il y a beaucoup de nourriture. So, au collège, j'adore la cantine car il y a beaucoup de nourriture. Lovely. Um, uh, however, what, I'm going to just try and give something negative now because if we just left it like that, we wouldn't have answered the bullet point. So, that's cool. I love the cantine because there's lots of food. Um, why not link in some of the health topic in here as well? A, say, delicieux. Delicieux. I think it's even good for you. No, let's leave it there. Au collège, j'adore la cantine car il y a beaucoup de nourriture et c'est délicieux. Now let's give a negative opinion. We could full stop it and say I don't like. 
but let's use a connective instead. Now, I've already used may. Let's try and be a bit fancy and use cependant. Really nice um, uh, connective. However, uh, if you didn't know it, make a note of it. It's good variety for me. Um, spelling wise, it's C pen dant. Two E's, one A, because I see it's spelled wrong a lot. However, what don't I have? Use je detest. Let's go with je n'aime pas. What don't I like? Je n'aime pas. Ooh, and uh, what don't I like? Je n'aime pas la piscine. I don't like the swimming pool, maybe. Okay. Or what about je n'aime pas les profs? Oh, a bit mean, I know. Je n'aime pas les profs. Um, because car now, because we're talking about teachers plural, we have to be a little bit careful here. We can't say because it is. We have to say they are. And it's a great one to make sure you know. Il sont. Oh, not song. Il sont. They are. That is not il y a. There are. It's il sont. They are. Okay, um, so at school, I love the canteen because there's lots of food at positive aspect um, and it's delicious. However, I don't know the teachers because they are car ils sont um, un peu ennuyeux. No, we've used ennui already. Look, we've used it up there. Let's use different ils sont un peu sévère. They're a bit strict. It's not true at all, but um, uh, we can leave it at that. Okay, have we given a positive aspect? I love the canteen, yeah, I love, that's quite, I love the canteen, good. However, I don't like teachers because they're a bit strict. Perfect, okay, positive and negative aspects. And also what's good about that, two more clear opinions. No, right, bullet point three. Again, avoid trying to say a recent school visit was really tricky to do. Well, you'll end up in a pickle with the how to finish off your sentences. So can you start with when? Normally, last weekend, of course you can. Now we're gonna to have to make this up because probably haven't been on a school trip for a long time. Let's go with last year, would be really nice. So obviously, if you didn't know how to can't remember how to say last year, you could go with recently or you could go with last weekend because it's slightly easier. But last year is a nice one to use if you know it. If not, use something else, even if you said yeah for yesterday. It doesn't have to be true, just make it up. But say when last year, what did you do? I went somewhere. So last year. I went, this is where that verb aller, that we put a star by, remember, je vais in the present tense, je suis allé in the past, not j'ai allé. So last year, je suis allé, I went, where did I go? Je suis allé en France. Oh, can't see anything of it now, en France. And I always try and think, try and say who you went with. Avec mon college let's link it to school have it on college so last year i went to france with my school let's give an opinion about it we've said something okay college is also correct again don't forget your accent always want to check when you go through your work l'année dernière je suis allé en france avec mon college i think that je pense Oh, I can't spell today. Je pense que still can't spell. Now I've got double S in France. Je pense que I think that now go back to that plan past tense opinion for sete. It was so je pense que sete. Make sure you spell it right. C apostrophe E with the accent. Sete. Je pense que sete. What was it? It was great. Genial. I think it was great. Full stop. Don't be afraid to do a short opinion like that. That's fine. Uh, let's say something else that now we a lot of students here will try and say we because you've said with my school I would always stick to the je form okay particularly if you're doing this for the foundation paper but even so the, the mark seems still the same so I wouldn't over complicate it anyway unless you're really confident in talking about others last year I went to France my school I think it was great uh, again genial's auto corrected there needs to be an accent on the e just genial um, uh, I went to school and I think it was great I visited, j'ai visité, use that common verb there. What do we visit in France? J'ai visité Paris, et j'ai... Uh, now I could use visité again. What about using the verb saw? I saw the verb to see, j'ai vu. Think about déjà vu, something that you've already seen. So j'ai vu is I saw, okay. Um, uh, j'ai visité Paris et j'ai vu, what did I say, j'ai vu la Tour Eiffel. Why not? La Tour Eiffel. 
It was great. C'est a magnifique. What a nice adjective to use. It was magnificent. Exclamation mark. Why not? Lovely. Um, we could add more. We could easily go on about things. Via j'ai mangé, if we wanted to use that key verb in here. I ate snails or j'ai mangé. But actually, probably if you did a word count on that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen. There's probably 25, 30 words already. So I don't think we need to worry about that. Yeah, we don't need to overcomplicate it. And let's go on to the last bullet point. So uh, let's just check projet d'avenir. Go back to my plan. Okay, let's just check future plans. Okay, it's in the future tense. Je vais plus verb complet, but make sure it's about education. Okay, so do not start with my projects of the future. Ah, that's too complex. Let's go to my can I thing. So can I start with when? Normally last weekend in the future, and then I plus the verb in the correct tense. Yes, I can. Dans le futur. If you really, um, uh, if you know that one really well and know, by the way, Don's got an S on the end of it, and you know the other way of saying in the future, à l'avenir, that's really nice if you can do that because it's a bit of variety that not many students, particularly at foundation, use on the 90 word writing. It just shows a little bit of variety. So à l'avenir. If you don't know that or can't quite remember it or think you spell it really badly, Go with on the future. Just make sure you don't put an E on the end of future because it's not got it in French. But if you can remember à l'avenir, that's great. And if you didn't know it, make a note of it because it's really good to use. À l'avenir. Oh, what could I say? Uh, in the future, I am going to do something. Je vais. What verbs did I put up here that would be good? I'm going to. What about continue? Okay, and this should bring some bells from the school topic. Anyway, je vais continuer mes études. I'm going to continue my studies um, or lycée at sick form. Nice. In the future, I'm going to continue my studies at sick form. Don't be afraid of doing a short sentence. Let's do another future tense because it's good to show more. Je vais étudier. Let's take the subjects I'm going to study. Je vais étudier. What am I going to study? I don't know. Uh, les sciences et le français. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to study. Well, I'll tell you what, let's make this slightly, slightly simpler. So, je vais étudier le France. Uh, I've already mentioned French, actually. Je vais étudier le design. Well, that's just art. So, I'm going to continue my study at sixth form. I'm going to study dart art because car je pense que, although I think that rings a bell, I've already used it somewhere. Je pense que, I use, yeah, je pense que. Let's use something varied from je pense que. If you can remember à mon avis, in my opinion, that's a great one to use as variety for je pense que. If you don't know it, make a note of it, à mon avis, and learn it. It's great to use. Okay, so je vais étudier le design, car à mon avis, c'est, what is it? Uh, intéressant. It's interesting. In the future, I am going to continue my studies at sixth form. I'm going to study art, because in my opinion, it is interesting. Um, uh, after that, après ça, je vais, I am going to go, je vais plus verb complet, je vais aller, uh, where am I going, à l'université, I'm going to go to university, and it will be a ce sera, uh, what's it going to be, it will be, uh, fantastic, formidable, Formidable. Perfect. Okay. Nice opinion in the future. Um, uh, so after I'm going to go to university and um, uh, and it will be great. Full stop. In the future, I'm going to continue my studies. One future tense. I'm going to study art because in my opinion it's interesting. I'm going to go to university. It will be great. End of task. Before you sign it off and think, whoopie do, I'm finished, let's go back and read it and check we haven't made any silly mistakes or that Microsoft Office has not decided to autocorrect anything. So, au collège, j'étudie le français et les maths. Am I answering the bullet point? The subjects that I study? Yes, I am. Now, am I saying some more? I like French because it's useful. J'aime le français car c'est utile et le prof est très cool, bien sûr. Mais je déteste les maths car c'est ennuyeux et vraiment difficile. Perfect. Have I got opinions in now? Two already. Brilliant. First bullet point. I've answered the bullet point. I've got two opinions, two reasons. Excellent. Lovely stuff. I could add another quantifier in there and if I wanted to. I could put a little japonska in there, but you know what? I think it's absolutely fine. Second bullet point. 
bullet point, positive and negative aspects. So it needs to be positive and negative. Au collège, j'adore la cantine, positive aspect. Car il y a, remember you can, you don't always have to say because it is. You can say because there is. You can say because I like. You can say because I can. Okay, so here it's a because there is. Car il y a. Beaucoup de nourriture, or food, et c'est délicieux. Lovely, that's a positive aspect, opinion and reason. Cependant, remember that lovely connective to use however. Je n'aime pas les profs car ils sont un peu sévères. I don't like the teachers because they are a little bit. Un peu is a really nice to use as well as a quantifier, a little bit strict. Lovely, that's a negative aspect. Positive and negative aspect of school, that's done. Lovely, right. Third bullet point. Remember what our little crib says here. Always try and start with when or where. At school, at school, last year. So I've done that in all of this. And then put I and the verb in the correct tense. L'année dernière, last year, je suis allé en France avec mon collège. Have I answered the bullet point? Recent school visit. Yes, I have. That's answered it. Then I've added some more detail. I think that was great opinion. Then I've tried to say something else in the past. I always think, can you give, you know, you've given one past tense, Dan, and it was. Can you give two? Could you give three? Okay, so it's good just to show you know those past tenses. J'ai visité Paris, I visited Paris, and I saw the Eiffel Tower. J'ai vu is really nice. Even if you just learn it as a set phrase for I saw, it's really good when you're talking about the past, particularly for holidays or trips. J'ai vu la tour Eiffel. C'était magnifique. Lovely. I've got three past tenses, two opinions in the past. Have I answered the bullet point? Yes. Last one, à l'avenir. Remember, that's a really nice way of saying dans le futur. Okay, so if you can, learn it. It's in variety. What's my tense rule? Je vais plus verbe complet. But remember... You've got to link it to education because that's the topic. Okay, so je vais continuer mes études. I'm going to continue my studies at six point. Perfect. Then we're trying to say a bit more. Je vais étudier le dessin. I'm going to study art. Again, I've taken étudier from my key verb here. Look, continuer is there. Étudier is there. Key verbs. Je vais étudier le dessin. Let's study art because, in my opinion, à mon avis, really good to use instead of je pense que. Good one to learn. Le dessin car, à mon avis, c'est intéressant. Après ça, après ça is also really nice to use after that. Je vais aller à l'université et ce sera, just check that's a future tense, but yet ce sera perfect, it will be formidable. All done, I reckon there's about 100 words or so there. I've got loads of opinions, I've got three tenses, it's highly accurate, there's nothing complex in there, um, and it would get 16 out of 16 without shadow of that. Okay, um, and that's your, your theme three, school, 90 word. So uh, I imagine if you're watching this, your teacher might well then give you the opportunity to write one or alternatively, you then literally just snip this task or cut and paste this task onto the next slide and then try and write one yourself. Don't read the one I've just done with you, but try and write one yourself, having looked at this one and then try and write one yourself. Slightly different, but applies the same rules. And if you can do that, it's a, it's a doll. It's an absolute doll if you can do that. Okay. Um, so... Uh, well done for watching and hopefully that'll help you with your 90 words.